Good morning there. It's the following day, or the following morning, and I've come down to the same jetty. And the reason for it is the images that I took yesterday morning predominantly was of the jetty and you didn't really see much of the area around the jetty. I wanted to capture a little bit more of what this area looked like. It doesn't look like we're going to get a great sunrise this morning, so I'm not pointing the camera out towards the sunrise. The cove that I'm in is called Nana's Cove, Nana's Beach, and it's dotted with these just beautiful uh, rocks that the kids um, swim in during the day. And the sand is so white that the, the water in just in these shallows here are very, very blue. So I wanted to capture some of that. So coming down the beach, I found this little clump of rocks. There's a large one with some smaller ones dotted in front of it. And I've got the camera looking out across those rocks onto the jetty. It's really peaceful. There's not much wind. And the waves are just rolling in nice and quietly. It's just, just a beautiful, beautiful morning. So let me take you through my composition. So I've got the rocks in front of me. There's another group of rocks to my right hand side and there's a little bit of a line as the water on the right hand side makes its way up to the jetty. Then of course I've got the jetty coming in from the right hand side through to around about the middle, approximately the middle. And then off in the distance I've got some bush, there's some more rocks there and then there's this lone pine tree which is just kind of anchoring my right hand side it's all open on the left. So whatever cloud, whatever um, interest I get in the sky, if I do get a little bit of light, then that'll all be on the left-hand side. So let's quickly go through what I've got set up. I've got the X-T2 and the 10-24 to on front of that. I've got the Lee mount with a polarizer fully engaged. I'm getting quite a lot of glare, predominantly just off the surface of the water. What I want to do is cut through as much of that glare as possible because I want that blue of the water and the detail of the rocks underneath the water coming through on the image. I've also got a 0.6 hard graduated filter because predominantly my horizon is quite flat. 0.6 is just enough to cut down some of the light because the sky is darker than my foreground. If I cut down the light, I can bring up the exposure in the foreground and get as much detail in these rocks as possible. And because the rocks are anchoring the image, it's really, really important, I think, to get as much detail in the rocks as possible. So to be able to bring up my exposure by cutting down the light in the sky is the way to go in this image, I think. It's just a, a beautiful scene. Such a great way to spend the morning. So on ISO 200, f-stop of 10. I've got a shutter speed of one second. Let's take this shot, see what it looks like. So with that shot taken, the light is continuing to increase. And what I want is a shutter speed that's longer than one second because I want to smoothen out the water. I want to make that as glassy as possible. It's not very rough. There's just some ripples on the surface. And of course, with a little bit of glare that I'm getting, even though I've got the polarizer on, you can just see that there's some texture. I want that as glassy as possible. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my f-stop, increase it up to about 14. That uh, closes down that aperture, allows me to increase the shutter speed, make a longer sh shutter speed. So I'm going to give that a go. That's ISO 200 f14, which gives me a shutter speed of two seconds. try is really increase my shutter speed up to 20 or 25 seconds. So to do that I've kept the 0.6 graduated filter on there but just behind it I've got my six stop Lee little stopper which cuts out six stops of light. That allows me to really increase my shutter speed. So I've brought my f-stop back down to about 10 or 11. I've just taken a 25 second exposure and now I'm about to take a 30 second exposure. That will really flatten out this water and make it hopefully look like glass. With the polarizer taking the glare off, I'll be able to see straight through, be able to bring out that rich blue color in the water and the details in the rock. That's what I'm going for. The sun, just in that last exposure, just started to peek through. It's now gone up behind some clouds there. So I'm not really getting a lot of color at all, unfortunately. There's just a very thin sliver of orange on the left-hand side. I'm gonna take this 30 second shot and see what it looks like. bonuses I'm getting with an exposure of 25 or 30 seconds is I'm getting quite a lot of movement in the clouds. They're quite low and they're moving from the right hand side through the image to the left which is adding a little bit more drama in the sky which is quite nice. It's quite cold here. It's not bad around about 15 degrees but the water is quite cold but there's several people that come down in the mornings to swim and good luck to them. I'd much rather be here taking landscape shots. That's it for this morning. Looks like the best of the light has gone, but I've really had some fun just exploring around, taking some shots here and trying out some, uh, some different settings on the Fuji X-T2. If you like the images and you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments down below also. If you enjoy this sort of content and enjoy landscape photography, then please consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my next video. Until then guys, from the beautiful bays of Augusta, thanks very much for watching.